To all of you out there who are fathers, happy Father's Day. What we have here for a drink review is Toksonen Sal Makali. Get a little closer look at the bottle. So this comes in a plastic bottle. Uh, one of the first things you should do with Makali, because there is sediment in Makali, is to go ahead and mix it up. Let that sediment get mixed just like you would with a, uh, a Weizen or a wheat beer. You want to have the yeast that's on the bottom, you want that mixed with the drink because that is part of the drinking experience. So this comes in a 750 milliliter bottle. Now normally we would serve this in some type of porcelain bowl, but I guess since it's Father's Day, my wife has decided we're gonna use our wine glasses, which is fine by me. So without further ado, let's, oh, be careful, these things do become, the way they're made, they do carbonate when you're, they're being fermented. So I don't, I'm hoping this won't be too fizzy, it's not. So they must have killed the yeast or whatever uh, before they bottled it. I do it for you first. Oh. Korean style, receiving with two hands. Thank you. And as respect to my wife, with whom I would not have the lovely daughter we do, And I wouldn't be a father, no, would I? So, put this off to the side. Now, another good thing with the Korean makgeolli is to have a good Korean dish. So, what I see is like a kimchi stew with pork. What would you call this? In Korean, what is this? Kimchi jjigae. Kimchi jjigae, kimchi stew. And we got seaweed over here, we've got brown rice over here. So once again, happy Father's Day. Thank you. Mm. Good. Not bad. So it's got light mouth feel, a little bit of carbonation in there. Mm. Just like what we had come on those again. Kind of. Slightly Slightly milky finish. Kind of a hint of like a, uh, like a Sprite flavoring in there. It's hard to describe because obviously this is made from rice. And so, and of course they put some, uh, so the ingredients here, they do have the ingredients in English, rice, koji, yeast, enzymes, aspartame, acephalofame, potassium, carbonate, and water. Um, so yeah. So as far as the drink review goes, we'll come back after we've pretty much knocked out the bottle. But as far as the rest of the Father's Day feast goes, we will continue to eat and enjoy this Father's Day lunch, courtesy of Mrs. Waller. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. <laughs> Keep cold, keep cold. So kimchi chige, kimchi is the fermented vegetables that Koreans make with uh, red pepper sauce and onions and garlic and stuff like that. Uh, chige is, 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 means stew in English. And you know, you, you know what stews are, so. Uh, throw some rice in here. Say normally we'd put it in a bowl, but we aren't a normal family. <laughs> but a bowl does make it easier to put the rice over there, the sauce over this. 
And you can use chopsticks to eat it. Uh, although usually kimchi chige, you're gonna use the chopsticks for the bigger pieces. It's so like if I wanna eat the pork. Brush it down with some broccoli. Because the rice is wet, it's not going to be sticky anymore. So there I want to use my spoon. Make sure I get some kimchi in there, a little pork and fat. Not a meal for you ve vegans. Mmm. Now we're talking. All right, we'll pause while we eat, and then we'll be back. Just to show you, <clears throat> her pork stew, pretty good. Switch from my plate to the bowl, finish it up. Still working on the makgeolli, but it's coming along rather well. So let me relax a bit, drink a little bit more makgeolli, and then we'll finish up with a quick down and dirty on the, on the makgeolli. 6.0% ABV. When you're making makgeolli, uh, uh, rice, what they're calling here, rice beer makgeolli, but when you're making makgeolli, there's two things you have to do. One is you have to convert the rice to a starch, or the starchy rice to a carbohydrate, and then the carbohydrate to alcohol. So the koji is what changes the starch to a carbohydrate and then uh, the yeast will take the carbohydrate and convert that to alcohol. I know that because I have made makgeolli before. So I know those ingredients are fine. Final thoughts, I'll definitely try this again uh, just to see how consistent they are with their flavor and the taste. I see in this bottle, it actually gives the, I think what's the packaging date, uh, January 25th, 2016, and the expiration date is January 24th, 2017. So they're considering it good for a year, June, June 19th, I think, Father's Day. So it's five months old. Um, definitely doesn't taste as good as the stuff you get in Korea that is fresh. But that's to be expected. I mean, that's no different than if you go to a, a brow house and you get a draft beer that has been freshly made as opposed to uh, a canned beer or a bottled beer. It just, there's, there's, maybe it's a psychological difference, but there's, Sure seems to be a difference in uh, flavor. So, cheers. Happy Father's Day. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, click the subscribe button. Click that thumbs up. Uh, comment below. Have you tried makgeolli? Are you interested in trying makgeolli? Yeah, what do you think about it? What's the most unusual alcoholic drink that you've had? Till next time. Come back.